Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to express 2 all divided by 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3 in partial fractions for 2 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to uh, pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward just to check out the final answer, or I'll take you through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So what I'll do first of all is just copy down the fraction. So we've got 2 then divided by 2r plus 1 multiplied by 2r plus 3. And both of these are linear factors. And when you get linear factors, the partial fractions that you get would be a constant, so I'll call it a, you can choose obviously any letter you like, over the first linear factor here, 2r plus 1. And then we've got plus another constant, which I'll call b, all over the other linear factor, 2r plus 3. Notice I've used an identical sign here, okay, rather than an equal sign. Next, we need to get rid of the denominator here, 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3. And we do that by multiplying both sides by 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3. And so that's going to leave us with 2 just on the left hand side here. And that's going to be identical to multiplying this fraction with just 2r plus 1, 2r plus 3 would give us a times 2r plus 3. And then multiplying this fraction with 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3 would give us b times 2r plus 1. Next I've got to try and work out what the values of a and b are. And the best way of doing this is to make each of these values here in the brackets 0. So I can make 2r plus 3 come to 0 when r is equal to minus 3 over 2. So we'll just say therefore let r equal minus 3 over 2. And what we therefore have is that 2 equals now, because it's an equation, 2 equals a times 0. Well, that's going to be 0, takes out the a. And then we've got plus b times, and then minus 3 over 2 times 2 is going to be minus 3, plus 1 is minus 2. And so therefore, we've got 2 equals minus 2b. And dividing both sides by minus 2 means that b is going to equal minus 1. Okay, so we've got b. Now we'll just try and get a. And we can do that by making this bracket equal 0. And that will be when r equals minus a half. So I'll just say here, let r equal minus a half. And therefore, what we've got here is still the 2. And it equals a times 2 times minus a half is minus 1, plus the 3 is going to be 2. And then we've got plus b, and my, when minus half is in here, as I said earlier, that would be 0. So therefore, you end up with 2 equaling 2a, dividing both sides by 2, and you end up with a equaling 1. So therefore, in summary, then, we've got our fraction here, 2 over 2r plus 1 multiplied by 2r plus 3. This is going to be identical to a over 2r plus 1. a is the 1, so it's 1 over 2r plus 1. And then always just check, rather than charging in with a plus here, just check what your value for b is. It's negative 1, so it's just going to be negative there, and then it's going to be 1 over the other linear factor there, 2r plus 3. Okay, and there's our partial fractions.